Salutations everyone, this is Razor bringing you guys another Overwatch video here talking about Winston, uh, the least utilized tank in matchmaking. Getting the most out of Winston really calls for a lot of, you know, communication and uh, there's some misconceptions on how like dive works in matchmaking. Uh, when I've, I've heard quite a few times when people say, all right, let's, you know, let's run dive. Dive isn't a composition. Dive is a strategy. Just because you have D.Va, Winston, and Genji, and Tracer doesn't mean you're playing dive. Dive is actually communicating and diving in and punishing the team for overextending or for having a player out of position or just, just killing them all even if they're all grouped up like we did right there. Uh, so yeah, Winston's kind of force communication in order to work. Uh, sometimes Winston's can be your shot callers, because uh, Winston is best utilized at initiating a fight, you know, diving in, and then typically you have a Genji striking, uh, you know, right after that, or, you know, the D.Va going in, or, you know, really whatever tank you have in match waking, you can pretty much get away with it being a Zarya, or a Reinhardt, or, or a D.Va, not, maybe not an Orisa, but... If your Winston can go in with the other tank and, you know, your supports are aware of it and your DPS are aware of it and maybe try to help you some of the time, uh, you're going to find a lot of success. And uh, I found, found a lot of success in this game. Uh, I only die six times throughout all of attack and defense and only one of them was because I played poorly. All the other times I was getting CC'd by Flashbang or Sleep Dart or Hook or multiple ones and or getting ulted every other opportunity except for one was uh, just me doing the right thing at the right time and communicating with the team we might not have the best composition here you know we have a Symmetra but you know we're trying to make it work Reinhardt is the fine partner you know when it comes to getting the right tank tank composition is the most important thing and like I mentioned before tank is the most important character class in overwatch easily but what's the most important is how your tanks, whether it be, you know, two, three, or four, um, how they work with one another. It's not a very good idea to run Zarya Diva, for instance. That's not going to work in a lot of cases if the team, uh, the enemy team might know what they do, because there isn't really a lot of shielding. You just have defense matrix and some bubbles. And when it comes to, you know, the main tanks, Arisa, Reinhardt, and Winston, we have a, a lot more barriers, a lot more stuff that they can block more consistently. And with when it comes to your responsibilities as Winston, for instance, you saw me take out the D.Va when she's out of position. That's always going to be the case. Winston is still one of the best characters in the game, tank or not tank, uh, at taking out Mercies. And uh, obviously is going to be one of your biggest tools against those Genjis because his reflect can't stop that Tesla cannon. And obviously Winston is really good at starting a fight. He's also very good at ending a fight. The ability to leap in, you know, melee right before you land and then start shooting and start meleeing. Meleeing is, you know, the most important with Winston than any other character. Uh, you always want to make sure you get in a melee just before you land so you can get the melee damage and the landing damage and then start going to town. And obviously since the Tesla cannon has a reload time and it doesn't do a ton of damage by itself, you want to mix in melees uh, when it, along with your primary fire to maximize the amount of damage and have to, you know, reload less. So as you saw there, landed with my melee, started to do some shooting, but the Mercy was able to take care of himself. I, you know, felt the responsibility of Winston to do a lot of the peeling action, and that's what I was doing. Clearly, Mercy didn't need a whole lot of protection there, and she was able to take care of herself, and that's always fine, but you can't necessarily, uh, you know, hope that that happens every single time. And Winston is my favorite tank to play on defense of Anubis, especially on the first point, because you can really punish, uh, you know, when they try to go in through the left side, typically there'll be a Mercy, you know, behind them, healing them up, or or an Ana, or, you know, usually it's a support, but especially if it's a Mercy, you can totally get behind them and take out their healers and the rest of their tanks and DPSs are just going to fall to the wayside if the rest of your team, you know, knows somewhat what they're doing. 
And when it comes to defending the second point here, a lot of it has to do with just going with my team, especially since we have a Reinhardt who's not the most mobile tank. You know, obviously the dive meta is Winston Diva as your tanks, but Reinhardt can work, especially in matchmaking where you can get away with a lot more. And, you know, if you or the Reinhardt especially is getting pocketed by a healer, there's nothing that the enemy team uh, full of pugs is going to be able to do against that without some good communication. Like I mentioned before, if you pump a bunch of resources into a Zarya or a Reinhardt, the enemy team is going to be at a loss because that's just a lot of damage and a lot of healing uh, coming out of that pocket, which is going to be charging ult for both the tank as well as the healer. And, you know, I can do a little bit of disruption here. I drop down with my bubble, Reinhardt charges in, disengage a little bit to get some healing as our the rest of us are the rest of the team is kind of just shooing the enemy team away. Sometimes, you know, that's all that you need to do just to eat some time off the clock or something like that. But Winston is such an important, such a good tank. Uh obviously you've heard the term before of creating space. And if I could pick one character that was always on my team and always did really well, it would be a Winston. Just because of the impact that he has is just so great when you have him. It's unlike anything else. You know, maybe you want an Ace Tracer that's destroying their backline or harassing them. Maybe you want the perfect Ana or Mercy keeping everyone healed up. Or, or, or you know, maybe you just want you know, just a jack of all trades uh, kind of character that you can just plug and play in any situation. But the one or two times where I've had a good Winston on my team, it felt like playing the game on easy mode because he creates so much space. And by what I mean about space is the space that he creates between where he jumps and where he lands. That is now space that he controls. And where the bubble is breaks line of sight on, you know, enemy healers, you know, when it comes to Zenyatas or Anas, and obviously when it comes to, you know, your enemy projectiles that the bubble is going to be blocking and your teammates can take advantage of that space where you land, you know, a little bit of knockback, you're gonna be doing some damage, you're gonna be getting a lot of aggro. So usually since the Winston is going to be the one to initiate the attack, all the aggro goes on him. But if you have that followed up with the D.Va diving in with the rockets, with Genji going in with his swift strike or, you know, whatever it is, you know, as long as it's coordinated, you know, with matchmaking, a lot of uh, non meta things can happen as long as you're communicating or at least doing it right. It doesn't necessarily require communication, but if it's facilitated by just basic game player knowledge, then things are going to work out just fine. And that, what that distance gives you when the Winston leaps over, drops the bubble, gets all the aggro, and that bubble's obviously going to be protecting you from, you know, making that, covering up that space from where your Winston leaped from your team to where he landed. That's going to give you space that you're not going to be able to be damaged from because they'll be concentrating on the Winston, the bubble's going to be there, and... That's going to be time, just just free cart time. If it's if you have the payload going through, say Gibraltar, Winston's really good at creating a lot of space on Gibraltar, especially if the enemy team isn't like camping on the high ground. And if they have one or two characters that seemingly touch the high ground there, here and there, Winston can obviously take care of that. Winston and Divas being the tanks that you want to knock those soldiers and those widows out of those high places, and. When it comes to the mid fight, Winston's really good because of his ability to, you know, the leap is only on a five second cooldown, so he'll be able to leap in and out of action, peel for your healers, get onto the point, like right there, where, you know, you know, I didn't need to, but hey, I didn't want the Moira to get, you know, any more ult charge, and I certainly didn't want them to sneak a tick in there. And the rest of the team, when it comes to Winston leaping away from whatever place that he's in, the rest of the enemy team kind of has to fold in on where that Winston is if he's going to the objective. So because no one can cover that space as quickly as Winston, um, you know, as safely, because obviously Tracer can blink, but after that, what does she got? She doesn't have a bubble or anything. So that gives your the rest of your team time to catch up to you, to shoot the enemies in the back that are turning their attention towards you. And that just gives so many opportunities for the rest of your team to do stuff. Winston is the best tank at creating that space, at starting team fights, 
possibly finishing team fights, stalling the point. His ult is in, is super important. We've seen that in Overwatch League a ton. It's one of the most important ults because its ability to knock people off the point so you can finish that overtime or burn the rest of their overtime or to get that percentage point on king of the hill to make it 99 to 99 or to you know make sure that the enemy team doesn't trigger overtime or anything like that so the ability to stall is good for offensive and defensive purposes obviously you can get some good damage done like in the back room of here in anubis a lot of symmetrics love putting their teleporter back there going there with winston knock out all the turrets going on monkey rage and anybody who wants to fight you back behind that sarcophagus is gonna have a bad time because they're gonna just be pinned up against that wall as he's flailing about so Picking off those key targets, I saw the D.Va go for her ult, so I'm going to make sure she can't get back in her mech. And that is going to be a huge boon here on this second point, where, you know, just a second, a microsecond is all you need to get that tick, to get that win, to, to stagger out their spawns, to give your team a little bit extra time to, you know, get their, their blade or their coalescence or whatever it may be. Winston has a lot of properties to him to make that happen. Now, one of the, the most difficult thing about Winston is that he does require that synergy. He requires either communication or people just knowing inherently what to do. When the Winston leaps in, everyone should automatically know that's the go signal. That's the green light. This is where we initiate the fight. And if you don't have people that back you up, if you don't have healers healing you, especially with Winston, you know, whose bubble isn't going to block a ton of damage. And if you get inside that bubble, Winston's going to have to do a do -si do with you for a bit in order to survive. And if it's something like a Reaper who can do a ton of damage close range, uh, Winston is not going to survive. So Winston needs communication. He needs people to know what to do when they have a Winston on their team. And that's what makes him the most difficult tank to play in the game. But when you have a Winston working, and I've had this, you know, when I'm Winston or, you know, like two times when a teammate has been Winston and they're doing their job and everyone's following up on the initi initiation of Winston, then uh, those are some of the easiest games that you can have. You can have a really good Zarya game, a really good D.Va game, a really good Reinhardt game, but nothing is as good as having a really good Winston based team fight because of the space it creates all the things that can facilitate his ability to take out flankers like Genji and Tracer who you know he doesn't have to worry about aim or getting deflected or you know having very little health uh, to himself and obviously if he needs a little bit more he can just break those glasses and go into rage mode and do what he do so obviously the team fights lost there I'm not a dumb monkey so I'm gonna leap back to my team barely make it give my mercy a bunch of charge because I know how to play the game, I know how to play Winston, and once the team fight's over, you can leap away, pop your bubble, and boom, that's some free charge for your healers, and that's some charge that your enemy is not getting by getting that free monkey kill. So, when it, when it comes to the satisfaction of having a really good Winston game, it's there's nothing else that compared to it. I've had, you know, amazing Tracer games, a lot where it's just super fun because I mean, I'm just killing everybody and it's amazing or I'm Zen and my shot is on I'm getting a ton of kills my discord call outs are being just honed in on perfectly I discord somebody they're dead discord somebody they're dead all those are super fun but when you're Winston this dude that doesn't do a ton of damage that you know is leaping out and about has this really important barrier that he can throw down and still not dying your team is just winning those fights just like nothing is as satisfying as that you know very 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 few things can can come close to the satisfaction of just being in a winston in a long team fight not dying and winning the points and feeling like you were the reason that the fight started and the rest of your team did their job and were able to funnel down the rest of the supports that you weakened or the, the the character that had their cooldown uh, off right now so that you can take out that, you know, that squishy target or that tank or whatever it may be. Obviously, Winston's Tesla cannon can go through barriers and that's really uh, a unique thing. He's not gonna be able to do a ton of damage. So it's just super satisfying to be Winston. And if he's played in the correct way and, the, and if your team plays around him properly, 
It's one of the easiest ways to play Overwatch. You will win every single team fight in these pickup games in ranked matchmaking on any platform because Winston can do a lot and if he's propped up help, uh, heavily by his team, he can do even more so and allow them to just carry the rest of the fight. It takes the pressure off your other tank, off of your healers, off your DPSs, and you win more games. Unfortunately, it's very difficult to pull off without communication, without people having the right team comp and doing what they should be doing when they have a Winston, you know, if Winston's applicable. It's not, you know, the best character for every map, but... He's uh he's really really good when it works and it's a lot of fun.